Welcome to Jewelry Making with Emily. For this tutorial, you're going to need four strings of 95 centimeters each or 37 inches, four strings of 60 centimeters each or 24 inches, one string of 20 centimeters or 8 inches, scissors, a lighter, glue, a bead of 0.4 centimeters, and a tooth of your choice. We're going to start by wrapping the first string around the tooth. We're going to take the first 60 centimeter string and fold it in half. And we take the front of the tooth. We put it around like this. Make a little loop because we're going to pass the ends of the string in it. And then pull backwards. You have to hold it at the same time so that it doesn't fall off. So with a tooth like this where there's not much to grab on each side, like here, I'm going to put some glue to secure it. So now we're looking at the back of it. We're going to take the second 60 centimeter string and we're going to fold it in half also. And we're going to feed it through the hole right here and pull it out of the other hole here. Find the middle. So keep holding these two strings to make sure they don't fall off until um, we secure everything. Now we're going to take the third 60 centimeter string and we're going to do the same thing as the previous one. So into the hole here and out of this one here. Again, find the middle. Now we're going to take the last string, the other 60 centimeters, fold it in half. And now we're going to do a square knot around everything. So I'm going to do it in the back. So to do the square knot, this is my string. I'm holding it in the middle. Left goes underneath all these strings on top of the right. Right goes on top of all the strings and into the loop of the left. So this is kind of tricky because with this tooth, I have to hold the strings at the same time. And then I'm going to tighten it. And then push it up against everything. So once we put that square knot in, it secures the tooth, but I still want to glue it. So now you end up with four strings on each side. So we're going to split them in a right and a left side. And now we're going to start working the outside here. So I'm going to take the two in the middle. So let's call it one, two, three, four. So you're going to hold string number four with your right hand and it's going to go towards the right and string number five will make two knots on top of it. It's going to do the same thing with the following string to the right. Same with number seven. I'm still holding that same string in my right end. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So this is one, this is two, three, and four. So now I'm going to hold this string with my left hand. It's going to go to the left. And string number three will make two knots on top of it. We're gonna take string number five with the left hand. String number four will make two knots on top of it. And again with number three. And we leave the last two alone. So now we take the other four on the right side. I'm gonna take this string with my right hand and the string right to the right of it will make two knots. So now we have the two in the middle and that's where we're gonna put the bead. So we'll put both strings through the bead. Like this. I'm recording this section again with a different necklace because it didn't record on the other one. I'll just continue from where I was. We had ignored these two strings and this string will go to the left and we will make only one knot with this string in this direction and we are going to switch direction and we will complete with one knot. We're going to do the same thing here. This string is going to go to the right and I will only make one knot and then change direction and this string will make one knot. Now we are just going to close under the bead, two knots on this one. And then with this one, I will make another two knots. And this one will go to the right, we'll make two knots here. And now we're gonna finish that section by closing the last here. So we're gonna take the far left string and I'm gonna hold it with my right hand. It's gonna go to the right. Okay, and then it's gonna make two knots on top of it. We're going to repeat on the other side and join. Far right string, I'm going to hold it with my left hand. String goes to the left. And then I'm going to join it this way so that it makes a kind of an X. There we go. So now we're going to make this part here that's going to loop back and make the pendant. So to finish this part here, we're not going to need these two on each side. We're only going to need the four in the middle. We're going to cut and burn these after. So I'm going to start with the left side and hold it with my right hand. This one will make two knots on top of it.
and then we'll do the same with this side and then join the middle so that's the first row and we're gonna repeat this until we have seven or eight rows that we're gonna fold back behind and I'm, I'm gonna alternate the way I close them so previous one I closed it with the right now I'm gonna close it with the left on top So that's seven rows, it touches the bottom and then you, when you fold it, you have the space for the necklace we're going to make. We're ready to close the loop. So we're going to do some cutting and burning first. So I'm going to cut these two on each side and also this one and this one. We're just going to use these two. Always make sure when you burn your string not to burn your fingers or your work. I'm gonna kind of push it towards the back so the burn mark doesn't show in the front. Okay, so now we're gonna feed these two into the hole right here. and pull it to close it off like this I'm gonna take each one and send it towards the back over the wrap and I'm gonna do a simple overhand knot I'm gonna pull it really tight. Now I'm gonna loop around the right over towards the left. And now with the left over towards the right. I'm gonna do it one more time with this one. And then one more time with this one, opposite direction. And now and we're going to close it in the back. I'm going to make two overhand knots really tight. And we're going to cut and burn. This is where, if you need to secure this, you might want to put the dab of glue. I'm going to show you where to put the glue on this tooth right here. So you'll just put a little dab on each strings in the back here. And you cover it like this. Then you repeat on this side. And let it sit overnight so now all we have to do is make the necklace part so you're gonna need your four long strings we're gonna make a simple overhand knot joining them all we're gonna start with this one it's gonna go underneath the next two and on top of this one now we're gonna take the far right one it's going to go underneath these two 
and on top of this one and then you want to push it at the top and now it's just repeating underneath the two and on top of this one right one underneath the two and on top of this one and every time you want to tighten it at the top underneath the two on top of this one and now always make sure your strings are untangled at the bottom because if you don't untangle them every time since it's really long string they would get tangled at the bottom right underneath the two on top of this one so you're just gonna keep going until you've done the whole length okay so now all we have to do join these ends together like this and we're gonna do a square knot so we're gonna find the middle left goes underneath and on top of the right into the loop and pull right goes underneath on top of the left left goes on top and into the loop there you go now we cut and burn and that's it we've got a beautiful shark tooth necklace if you like my jewelry, please visit my Etsy store at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Luna.